It's frustrating for us to see that irresponsible drivers still are not getting the message. But as disheartening as it is, we will not let it stop us. York Regional Police kicked off their enhanced festive ride program for 2021 today early in the morning to mark a tragic death from August 2016 where a drunk driver killed a mother and daughter. The importance here is a 9.45 in the morning. Historically, impaired driving has been seen as an after hours or a late night event. But unfortunately, this is just not the case. This year, YRP say they will be out in full force to stop impaired drivers. There has been an increase in impaired arrests this year, and they expect more people to be out as opposed to 2020 as COVID-19 safety measures have eased. People have to know we're getting better at detecting and catching people. Our, our numbers are up. We're up 19% this year in impaired-related arrests. Part of it is because People have adapted, but it also part of it is because people are calling in. It's socially acceptable to call in now. We are running more ride programs. In York Region, we run a ride program every day. In Festive Ride, we'll run multiple. And then there's also strategic enforcement. We are trying to get to the places where we've identified where there are impaired drivers. People need to know there's no safe time to drink and drive. To drive the message home about the impacts drinking and driving can have on families, were members of MAD Canada. My niece was killed by an impaired driver. So the from from the second that the crash happened to today, our family is suffering. Our family uh, is not the same. It, it's, it's unbelievable the number of people that are affected by the decision that one person makes. Justine Ellis, uh, a, a mom of, of two and she lost her husband and is now raising two young boys on her own. Uh, the Neville Lake family, that disaster. Those people, they'll never be the same. Their life has forever changed and uh, and it's all because of a poor choice that somebody has made. YRP say if you do spot a suspected drunk driver to call 911 when you can do so safely. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.